hello users uh, so in this video uh, we will write the shortcut functionality like when we will create shortcut connection so let's get started so when uh, a user is connect to shortcut we will always receive uh, connection of your to um, we receive a connection event whenever user is connect to socket and we receive the socket instance here so now what we will do is uh, we will create a empty object and whenever a user is connect to socket we will add push that socket connection in this variable so here Okay. So whenever user is connect, we will uh, assign. We will uh, also pass a, a unique ID uh, to that of that user, so we can identify which user is connecting and which user is disconnected with the socket. So let's uh, write the code. And so if we will check if socket. So this is how we can uh, get all the parameters which we will pass when we connect here with the socket. We will pass a user ID and we can get that user ID like this. And first of all, we will check if there is already a key is already there or not. <laughs> and if not, we will set Sockets and at this point dot push socket socket now and now uh, so now uh, whenever a new user is connect to socket we also need to send the send an event to all the other connected users so that uh, some a new user has been connected so we can do it by sending an event to all the users, all the connected users. Shocket dot broadcast dot init, and we can say user connected, and we can pass the ID of that user. So whenever a new user is connected, a event will be, uh, will be sent to all the other connected users. And now we need, we also need to set to uh, change the status in the database of that user from offline to online. So we can say con dot query, and uh, here we can say update users set each users. One where I equal to shop it dot transit dot query dot user ID which we will receive when we connect with the socket. Here we will receive two parameters error and response. And we can say if we receive an error in query, we can throw it. Otherwise, we can say console.log user connected and we will print the ID of that user socket dot user ID. So, this is how we can set up the connection. And just like that, uh, when a user is disconnected from the sockets. Socket, we also need to handle that thing also. So we can say socket dot tone. So uh, the disconnect event will be fired automatically whenever user is disconnect from the socket. So we can say socket dot tone. 
disconnect function here we will receive the error like why the user has been disconnected and error can be of multiple types like uh, there will be a ping timeout or the internet connection issue or any server issue uh, we can get all the thing in the error object and now we can say so whenever your user is disconnected we need to to also send an event to all the other users that uh, someone has uh, left the room or someone has disconnected so we can say socket dot broadcast dot thing user disconnected and we can send the id of that user socket dot dot socket dot shape dot query dot user id and now we also need to clear remove that user's array from this stack so we can say for user index variable index and shortcuts and we can say like Here and we can check if shortcuts index we can say if the current shortcut dot id equal to equals to shortcuts it from here very dot index dot id that means the disconnected socket id uh, is fine if we find the disconnected socket id in this stack we can say sockets and here and pass this dot Place index and pass one, so it will uh, remove that object. And also now we need to change the status in the database from online to offline. On dot query and we can say update users set. Zero where I is to dollar socket dot and say dot query dot user ID and here we will receive to plus and we can say if error occurs through an error otherwise console dot user disconnected can print the ID okay so our connection and disconnection event has been created now let's connect or shock it with your with our laravel app so to do that we need to uh, include two libraries first is jquery cdn so you can get it from here and let's import it at the top and another one is shockit shockit as a cdn This is for client side. And we can say okay. So now we have created, and one more thing we can create a section here. 
scripts and in the home complete new section script okay so now we need to write the code to connect our client with this socket server so to that we can say variable i equals to socket and we need to pass the url of our socket server or our node server which is http slash slash and we need to pass the query here and say user id will be and you can pass any amount of parameters and the user id we can get it from Authenticated user ID. Okay. okay, now this is how we can connect with the server. Now let's uh, start the Node.js server and um, we will use Nordmon to start the server. And you can install the Nordmon uh, using npm install nordmon-g you can run this command to install the nordmon basically nordmon what nordmon does is it will automatically restart our server when we uh, change anything in our, in our node.js project so let's start the server with the nordmon nordmon space dash.js and okay so we have made a mistake here i think index.js model shopkit.io oh it's a typo so as you can see as i save the file it automatically start the server and now we can receive an error and the error was for http again typo okay so now as you can see when the error is gone it automatically connected to a database and it printed it logs database is connected so now also we need to check here if we are connected or not so let's refresh the page and we have not yet connected with the shop it i think Shock it is not defined. We have some error, I think, to say shock it capital. Okay, so basically, we made a mistake. We need to get here shock it and object will be the IO. You can save and let's right okay now the error has gone and as you can see it has not printed anything here i think oh, this, this matter. Okay, so here actually we have not logged in anything. Let's run this server. Let's see what happens. Oh, there is again a typo C O double N. That's why we are not receiving any response here.
one more mistake we have done here is uh, first of all let's copy it and first of all we need to assign a blank object here and then we can say push otherwise we assign error so as you can see user connected one as or all the errors has gone it will connecting has connected so whenever we refresh the page we will say data is connected and user connected okay now it's logging automatically user disconnected user connected one and now now let's uh, un connect with the second user which is rahul password we want to name and as you can see again we it's printing user connected to as the rahul connect with us with the socket and now you can see the uh, status of ajay sharma is online instead of and if we refresh it and here you can see the status has been changed from offline to online now let's make it dynamic so okay so uh, in the next video what we can do is we can uh, make this uh, online and offline functionality dynamic so whenever in real time whenever user is disconnected it will automatically change to offline and if user is connected user will get it here it will show off online